Hi there, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about layers and groups. First of all, I'd like you to please open the file fairwheel-layers. I also advise you to please watch the video and then try and do the exercise. Now let's go. When we create a complex artwork, it's usually a challenge to try to keep track of all the objects that we are using. In this case, the fairy wheel, we have the wheel, we have the cabins around the wheel, and we have the base of the fairy wheel. There are several other objects related to the constructions of this artwork. Small items tend to get hidden behind larger items, and it's really hard to find them and work with them if we're not organized. The best way to organize yourself is using the layers and the groups. Think of layers as clear folders that contains the artwork. The same way you can move items between folders and subfolders, you can also move items between layers and groups. By default, when you start an artwork, it will create one layer for you so that you can work on. However, you can reorganize all of your artwork by creating new layers. You can also hide layers, lock layers, change layers, appearance and attributes. You can even create a layer template. Now let's see how you can do all this stuff. Remember, we're using the workspace that we created in the beginning of the course. And in this workspace, I made available for you the layers panel right in front, it's here. If you can't see the layers here, then reset the workspace. You'll have to go to Window, Workspace, and reset your own workspace that we created earlier on this course. If you reset it, it will start appearing here. For example, I'm going to remove it just for you to see it. And I'm going to close it. So if you reset Windows, Workspace, and reset the workspace that we created, it will come back and appear here for you. You can also access the layer panel by going to Window, and choosing the option Layers. Or you can choose also the shortcut F7. I'm going to show you how you can create new layers and how you can move items and hide items in the layers. Our goal in this class is to create one layer for each of these cabins. I also want you to create one layer for the base and one layer for the wheel. Now let's go. As you can see, there's only one layer available. Inside the layer, you have all these objects. You can expand the layer by clicking on this option here, and you'll see that you have group of objects in this layer. If you click on this button here, it will toggle visibility. So if you click on it, it will stop seeing all the information in this layer. If you click again, you'll be able to see all the information in this layer. From the right side of the eye, you can see another option. It toggles the lock option in the layer. If you click on it, you won't be able to do anything in the layer. You won't be able to move the objects inside the layer and you will not be able to create anything new in the layer. You can only create something in a layer if it, this option is unlocked, like this. Davi, all right, but how can I create a new layer? It's very simple. Below the layer panel, on the right, you have an option saying create new layer. All you have to do is click this option and it will create a new layer. I told you that I would like you to create one layer for each of these cabins. How many cabins do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I also want you to create one layer for the wheel and one layer for the base. That makes 10. So I need 10 layers for this project. Right now I have two. Let's create more just by clicking in this option here. Now I have 10 layers. Let's say I created one more layer that I didn't need. I can create, I can just click on the layer and click in the option delete selection. It will delete this layer. Also, I can create sub layers. 
it's here. Create a new sub layer. If you click on it, it will create a sub layer. I don't want it, I'll just delete it. You can also delete multiple layers at the same time. Just by selecting one layer, holding down the shift key, and then clicking in other layers. Just for you to learn, I'm going to delete all of these layers. Again, by clicking in the delete selection. It's gone. I'm going to create again by clicking on create new layer. I want 10 and I also want to name the layers. You can change the names. If you click on the layer, double click on the name of the layer and you can change. Let's create all of the names of the other layers. Double click on the name. Change the name for wheel, for example. Now let's write the name of the cabins. So I have two red cabins, two blue, two pink and two orange. So let's go. Double click on the name. Let's include the red cabins. And now the pink. And now the orange. All right, we created the layers and we changed the name of the layers. Beside the lock option, you have a color. Illustrator chooses the color of the layer for you, but if you want, you can change it. All you have to do is click on the layer, not on the name, and double click on it. It will give you the layer options. You can change the name as well here, and you can change the color. You can also transform this layer into a template or make it lock or make it shown, printable, preview, and you can also dim the image to a percentage. So we're not going to change the checkboxes and we're just going to change the color of the layer. Let's go. Click on the option and you can choose a color for the structure, for example, and click OK and click OK and it changes the color of the layer. Now what I want you to do is choose the option structure and move these objects to each one of the layers. You can click and hold and move the cabin, the red cabin, to the red cabin layer. Automatically it moves from the structure to a specific layer, here. I'm gonna click on this one and move it to the red cabin, and this one and move to the orange cabin, and this one and move again. Now the pink, click and hold, click once, click and hold, and release in the correct layer. Again with the blue, click, click and hold, and you can release it in the correct layer. And one more for the blue cabin, click and hold, and release again in the correct layer. Now the wheel, click and hold, and release in the correct layer. The V, why did we waste so much time creating layers? The object didn't change, it's the same thing. Yeah, I know. But when you're creating the object, it's much easier creating like this. Because you can click on a layer, and you can duplicate it. How? On the top right corner of the layer panel, there's an option here, which you can create also new layer, create sub layers. You can duplicate the cabin. You can delete the cabin. You can go for the options. And there are other advanced options as well, like making a clip mask, enter isolation mode. I won't show this right now. We'll see it later on the course. 
So for example, did I have to create two cabins? No, I didn't. I just had to duplicate them when I created this artwork. So, so just by clicking on the orange cabin, clicking here and duplicate orange cabin. Now I have another layer right here that can be selected. On the right side of the layer panel, you can select all the artwork in a specific layer by just clicking here. Can you see in the artwork that it's selected? If you use the selection tool, you can move and see a different object. Why? Because I duplicated this cabin. I'm going to increase the size of the panel so that you can see that this is a copy. I can create multiple copies just by clicking again here and duplicate the copy. See how it's easy? Now I'm going to select both of, the, of these layers. It's selected with shift key and then I'm going to delete it because it's not part of my artwork. And it's gone. Inside these layers, we moved one group. A group can have multiple shapes, multiple form, multiple lines, and you can open the group by just clicking here. So in each group of the cabins, it has one ellipse, one rectangle, one path, and another ellipse. Again, in the layer panel, if you click here, you can select the specific item inside this layer. Realize that when the item is selected, this box here is bigger, this rectangle is bigger. When the layer has part of the object selected, the rectangle is small. The same goes for the group. Look, this means that it has part of the objects selected. So these ones are not selected. If I select all of them by holding shift and clicking here, it changes the rectangle on top. So it means that it has every single object inside this layer selected. In the same way that you can move objects inside a group, you can also move objects to outside the group. So if I click one in only one object, I can move to a different place. Because this object is in front, it means that you can't see the objects below. I'm going to move inside the group now. I click, hold, and move inside the group, and you'll be able to see the object. If you click on the object, you can also ungroup all of the object by right clicking on the object and choosing the option ungroup. When it's ungroup, the group doesn't exist anymore. Some people choose to write names on groups. I don't like to. I'd rather write names for layers. Why? Because it's very common to group and ungroup while you're creating your artwork. So for example, if I right click on it and group this object, it's back to group, I can change the name of the group like I changed the name of the layers. I don't like to do that and I'm going to show you why. So I'm just going to click here, double click and write orange, press enter. I change the name of the group just like I changed the name of the layer. And now if I ungroup it, right click on it, ungroup, I lose the name. That doesn't happen with layers. So why do I need so many layers for an object? There are several reasons. One of them is to organize your artwork, depending when it's complex. Another reason is when you want to use your object in other applications inside Creative Clouds. For example, let's say I want to make a motion graphics with this fairy wheel. I'll use After Effects. I can move a Illustrator file to After Effects and then make the motions. Because the objects are separated, After Effects will understand that each one is individual object and it has to move. So if you want to prepare a file to be in the future animated, you can do that by making one layer for each one of the components that you want to make the animation. Let's see an example of this. And there you go. There's a fair wheel of After Effects animated. It's very simple. It's the wheel is moving, it's rotating clockwise, 
and also each one of the cabins is changing as well. All right, we finished the class for today. Today we saw layers and groups. In the future, we'll see more advanced options in the layer panel. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.